I'm, uh, I'm Bill McRaven. I'm a retired uh, Navy Admiral. I served uh, 37 years as a Navy SEAL. Uh, when I retired in 2014, uh, I became the Chancellor of the University of Texas System. It's a large uh, higher system of higher education and healthcare here in the state of Texas with 220,000 students, 100,000 employees, and, uh, and 14 different institutions. I really enjoyed that time. And now I am teaching, writing, speaking, and, and enjoying life. As far as my, my top uh, leadership tip, uh, it's probably not one thing, but when I was a young ensign, I had just graduated from SEAL training. I got to my first SEAL team, and I wanted to know what did the enlisted guys think a good officer should look like? So my, we didn't call them mentors back there, but the lieutenant that had kind of taken me under his wing said, look, you need to go talk to the command master chief. And the command master chief was a Vietnam vet with a Navy cross, the second highest award for valor in the U.S. And I sat down with the master chief and I said, master, what do I need to do to earn the respect of the men that are that are serving with me? And again, at this time, almost everybody in the team were Vietnam vets, but me and a couple of other folks, because this was 1978. And he said, well, I think there's four things you have to do. First, you have to work hard. You've got to come in early. You've got to work hard. You've got to stay late. You have to come in on the weekends. You have to do whatever it takes to show the men that you're prepared to put in the hard work. You may not be the smartest, the fastest, the strongest SEAL, but if they see that you are working hard, they will respect you for it. Next, you need to be a good teammate. And a SEAL team, as you can well appreciate, it's like any sort of sport team. We had a locker room. We had playbooks. We have the dynamics of a team. He said, you have to be a good teammate. You've got to help people out when they fall down and stumble. You've got to be a good teammate in the locker room. You know, you've got to work hard with the leadership. You've got to be a good teammate. Third thing he said was, you have to know your business. You have to learn the business of being a Navy SEAL. You need to know all your weapons. You need to know parachute. You need to know diving. You need to know land warfare. You need to know the business of being a Navy SEAL. And the final thing was the one that caught me by surprise. Because let's just say the Master Chief was kind of a man of his time. And he said to me, look, you need to be a good person. Mm -hmm. And I thought, well, that's interesting. And he said, because if you're a bad person, if you're doing things that, uh, that are going to bear on your conscience, uh, if you're out womanizing, if you're out drinking too hard, if you're out doing drugs, if you're out doing things that you know are not right, then you will come in to work the next day and that will be weighing on your mind and you will not be the best officer you can be. Be a good person, work hard, learn the business, be a good teammate, and you're going to do fine uh, in the SEAL community. And I have, those have followed me for all of my career and my life, I like to think. Thank you very much indeed. It's truly inspiring. And uh, it's a personal ambition to have you as my guest. Uh, Admiral Bill McRaven, thank you very much for being on the Inspiring Leadership Podcast. Jonathan, it was my pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir.